Hi, I'm Sam and in this video I want to explain you the hangover pulley system. First I want to start with the advantages and disadvantages of this system. One of the big advantages is that it's really lightweight. You don't need much more than this as a tensioning system. A further advantage is that it's very simple to use. And nowadays most of the high lines in the world are rigged with a hangover pulley. A very important advantage in a highline setup is that you can handle the whole setup from the edge and just move the line grip back and forth and it's totally okay if you just slide it out half a meter, pull it back, slide it out half a meter. A disadvantage is that you can reach less forces than with a rope pulley system due to the friction that you lose in the web lock. What we've prepared here is an anchor point here we also have a force measure, measuring device to show you the efficiency in the end. And very important is that you have a soft release in the system. And here we have the seahorse and the webbing is already locked in the seahorse. I take the line grip, I fix it to the webbing, I take the webbing coming out from the seahorse put it into the hangover and I already have a 3 to 1 pulley system. So when I pull at this webbing then it already tensions. I can pull as far as this almost touches the seahorse and then I simply push the line grip into the line again and I can pull again. For the direction of pull it is extremely important that you pull as straight as you can. As soon as you pull away from the system, you will lose a lot of efficiency. I put a second force measuring device here and pull here and now I want to go to 50 kilos or 0.5 kilonewton and see how much force there will be in the line. I also just pull as hard as I can and also see again how much force will be in the system. Sometimes you have the problem that you can't pull to this side because, for example, the slack line is fixed on a wall. So then you have to redirect the pulling direction to this side. And for this, I can put the Dyneema sling into the seahorse. I pull it through, put a hangover here, clip in the webbing here. And that's it. Now I can pull to this side. But be aware that you don't increase any efficiency like this. You will only lose efficiency compared to the normal 3 to 1 system. This is still a 3 to 1 system, but sometimes it's just useful to do that. In the next step, I want to show you how to build up a 5 to 1 pulley system. So instead of just having one hangover at the line grip, and I put Two hangovers. Here we connect it with a soft rigging plate that enables to keep the distance between the two hangovers. I start the same. I go from the seahorse to the first hangover. Go back. I already showed you before how to install the redirector and now I go to the second hangover here and this is basically the 5 to 1 pulley system. If you want to go to even higher tensions, then you can also use a 9 to 1 pulley system. The 9 to 1 pulley system is based on the 3 to 1 pulley system. I also again redirect it here. And now I use a chain lock where I just pass the webbing through. And I just take the layer that is lowest. I make just one simple loop, take a further hangover, and like this, it's already locked. And I take the webbing coming out from the hangover that's fixed on the seahorse. And here I built a new 3 to 1 system that multiplies on the first 3 to 1 system, so all in all, I have a 9 to 1 system. Sometimes when you have really slippery webbing and you pull really hard, it is possible 
that this line lock slips. In this case, you have the option to use it as a complete line locker. That means you pass the webbing through not just once, but you pass it through twice. The advantage using the line lock in a simple way like here is that you can just pull it out here a bit and you can remove the hangover to a new place after tensioning. The other way would be to grab the line grip and to pull it like this. As a last hangover pulley system I will explain the 15 to 1. This is also based on a 5 to 1 basic pulley system which I've already built up. With the only difference that here I have again a soft rigging plate. So I can make one more redirect here. Now it's still a 5 to 1 pulley system. But I do the same again like with the 9 to 1 that I take a chain lock here and I fix another hangover. And again I take the webbing coming out from the seahorse to put it here. And now comes one of the biggest advantages of the hangover pulley system. Now I can simply take out the line grip and the line is really just anchored totally close to the tree so there is no pulley system going into the system anymore. So I'm now standing in the middle of a 60 meter line we just rigged with the 15 to 1 pulley and you can see it's easily high enough the efficiency of the hangover pulley system is also dependent on the webbing type and especially on the thickness and on the surface of the webbing so the marathon is pretty smooth and not too thick and that's why we also compare it to the red tube which the surface is a bit more rough and the webbing is much thicker. Okay, we now have a 15 to 1 system again with the red tube and due to the higher stretch, what will happen now is that this hangover will move to this side just due to the stretch of the webbings here and it will probably travel about one meter before it will even slide through the seahorse here. So it's less efficient now with the red tube compared to the marathon. So for long line rigging I can recommend the hangover pulley system with a red tube up to about 60 meters and with a marathon webbing up to about 100 meters. For high line rigging the length is not critical anymore so you can really go much more than 100 meters with a hangover pulley system because the forces are anyway much lower than in long lining. So here is an overview of the arrangements of the different hangover pulley systems. And here you can also see the forces that we reach in our pulling tests. Indicated in orange are the hand pulling forces, then in white are the forces that we reached in the marathon webbing, in red are the forces that we reached in the red tube webbing, and in pink you can see the efficiency. All in all we reached efficiencies of between 50 and 60%. This is comparable to a rope pulley system that is blocked with an eddy or a grigri. These forces were reached with a seahorse, so it would also be interesting to compare other web blocks to the seahorse.